Hey folks, so it's Halloween weekend. Actually, it's not even the weekend, it's a Thursday. And I'm not doing anything with this Halloween, so I thought I'd make a video for you guys with respect to React Drop Zone. Now, if you don't know what React Drop Zone is, it's, it's you know, how you know how people actually allow you to take to take your files and then drop them onto your web page or select multiple files? Well, React Drop Zone makes it easy to do that. All you have to do is actually just do a npm install or yarn act at react drop zone and you're, you're good to go you could use a hook or you could use a wrapper component for it i don't know how to use hooks i mean i could learn it but i don't have enough time so what i did is i actually just used the wrapper component so if we pop on over here and note that this actually react drop zone i'm doing this 16 hour fast and i just ate a bunch of food right now so i'm burping getting to me I was like oh man but anyways if I go over here to our package.json you can see that the react drop zone version right now is 10.1.10 and my react version is 16.10.2 I made a class for the render drop zone input and that basically just returns this drop zone wrapper I'm importing drop zone and I'm importing image. That's just an image size so you can see what that package does on your own. But what I'm doing here is I'm just calling that image to make an image and setting a width and height on that. So this wrapper is pretty much the same as what they have here on the wrapper component. All I did is just copy and pasted it. And you could see that the difference here is just that I added, I added an image there so that when I go to the edit page, which is where I'm using it, I'd have the image here. Now you might be wondering why I'm using CloudFront. Well, the thing is, if you don't, if you're using this image resizer and if you're putting your, your image somewhere local, like I put it in my assets folder before and then all my tests failed, I don't know why. So I found out that actually putting it on CloudFront actually circumnavigated those test failures and it's on a CDN, so we'll be able to get that image quicker. Now, let's take a look. We are using this render drop zone input in edit events. I'm going to close this package, Jason. We don't need it. So in edit event, we are importing that here. And we're dropping that within a field, which is a Redux form. So I'm using Redux with, with render drop zone input. So if I did a find there, you can see that it's inside a field. The field is using the render drop zone input as a component. And whenever this drop zone input, whenever we throw some pictures in there, or whenever we select multiple pictures, then we call our prop. So if we go back to here, you can see that on drop, we do this set event photos and that prop is actually just taken into here, taken from here. This function actually just sets the state of our event photos and actually calls another prop to set the state there, which is in our events. Um, why I did it that way is because my when I submit the form, it is submitted from this class. So Taking a look here, this is the onset event photos. I just passed it down on the props through my events, which actually calls edit event. So it's a prop passed down between children. So when I call that, I do a set state event photos. So this state event photos is actually set. And when I submit the form, then if we have photos, then we can map through those photos and it'll take a look at each file and it'll actually just append that to a form data and use call the Ajax to update that update those photos so that's pretty much that now let's show you how this works so you could just take some photos here and just drop them on there and it'll tell you that it's uploaded it's a nice UI thing to have the file names shown that's not actually a part of react uh, drop zone that is actually because we are setting the state of the event photos in our edit events I can also use that state to pretty much just configure or manufacture uh, some un some 
list items, which are what those file names are, their list items. And then I just plop out that list of accepted files there if it exists. So that's basically how I'm using React Drop Zone with Redux and React. I couldn't find anything on that when I was doing my research. So I thought I'd make this video to help you guys if if you're looking to use Redux, React, and, and React Drop Zone together. Anyways, that's all I wanted to go through for today. If you haven't joined our mailing list, join our mailing list so that I can send you all these nice free goodies that you can learn from. And please rate, comment, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. It'll do you some good. I really believe that. And other than that, happy Halloween. Stay safe and I'll see you guys later.